What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, and having a great day so far. And I hope you have tested negative for the viruses. It is time now for the Sunday edition of the Virus Update for Sunday, July 6, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. There's a lot of viruses out there, and you need to be informed with what is going on with these viruses. That's where I come into play. I give you the latest news, data, and anything I can find to keep you informed with the viruses. Want to stay informed? Subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. Leave your comments down below. And if you like, you can support the channel down below. Already, I don't have a lot for you today, but we do have a few things to look at. And then we are going to take a look at some wastewater data. Now, first, we're going to start off in the UK today. And the reason why we're doing that is something very interesting. We've been talking about NB.1.8.1 variant. We've also been talking about the XFG COVID variant as well. But did you know there is now an XFG.3 variant? I did not know that. I'm just seeing it today. I don't think I recall seeing it in the past. I don't know. But uh, it seems to me that uh, that plus XFG.3 plus XFG itself over in the UK is causing 30% uh, of the cases now. So that is interesting. And also, a lot of people are reporting that they're dealing with a hoarse voice. I find that interesting because there are two performers that have canceled shows because of voice problems. One is Kelly Clarkson, and she says, well, I was rehearsing and rehearsing. They ended up having problems with their voice. Okay, understandable. Another one's over in Europe, and I don't remember the name, but someone I never heard of. And uh, they're saying that their voice is having problems, and they had to cancel their opening show. And made me wonder, hey, horse voice issues over in that region with the new COVID variant? You just don't know. You really don't know. All right, let's take a look at the UK. And first off, we'll just take a look at a couple different viruses, well, maybe three or four. Uh, measles has increased there since the last time we looked at it. 529 cases have been reported uh up by 68 in the last four weeks so they've had 68 cases in the last four weeks when we take a look at what's going on with the other viruses we see influenza at this time not doing too bad covid 19 at this time uh their cases have dropped 1125 that's down by 199 and if you've been following my channel for a long time if you've been following uh, their data over in the UK, you know, sometimes they have more than one wave in the summertime. So that's something we'll have to keep an eye on. Also, the positivity rate is something we watch there. And the COVID positivity rate in the UK has dropped at this time. Taking a look at what is going on there with RSV. RSV is fine. HMPV is somewhat okay at this time. All right, taking a look at this. In Australia or Queensland, I should say, which is a part of Australia, influenza cases nearly 20% higher than 2024 as Queensland faces one of its worst flu season in years. Yeah, worst flu season in years, that's something that's not uh, good. And we often do get stuff from Dennis, the COVID info guy, and I share it on here uh, whenever I find something on his X account. And it says here on this uh, article, so far this year, influenza cases are nearly 20% higher than they were last year. And 2,800 cases were recorded in the last week alone, the highest week total of 2025. Yeah, that's not good whatsoever. Alrighty, taking a look at this. I took a poll this morning. Do you think we will see a big increase in COVID in the coming weeks now that we have had a big super spreading holiday here in the United States. Yeah, that's right. Here in the United States, we just had the 4th of July. And, uh, well, 89.6% of the people said yes. 8.9% said no. And believe it or not, 1.5% now say no, COVID is over. That was 1% a few minutes ago. That's telling me someone else just voted no, COVID is over. You need to be educated and informed if you voted no, COVID is over. COVID is not over. It is very much so still a thing. And here's my poll answer. If I could answer this, I would put yes. Let me give you a good reason. I'm sure you have watched the news if you're here in the United States. You can't miss it. They constantly always say this every holiday. Well, they said it this time, and it's pretty accurate. 
record numbers of people traveling for Fourth of July. Yes, allow me to showcase that to you. Now, I can't show you the airport situation, but I can show you the travel scene. Well, here in my state of Pennsylvania, you know, I live in Philadelphia. A lot of people go north to the Pocono Mountains. Take a look at this. Look at all this traffic, people leaving the Pocono Mountains. But they don't just go to the Pocono Mountains from Philadelphia. Oh, no. Let's take a look at Interstate 80 here in Pennsylvania. And, uh, yeah, look at all these people going back east towards New York City. Now, they don't just only go to those places. They also go to the New Jersey Shore. I'll show you that. Uh, this was much, much worse earlier. There's the Garden State Parkway. Yeah, see of traffic there. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, that thing I showed you in the Pocono Mountains, that's double-digit miles. Take a look at here in the Midwest. Look at Chicago area. Look at people going from Michigan back towards Chicago or people coming down from the north or the northwest. Uh, let's go down to Florida. Florida is one of the worst states for COVID right now. And uh, people are traveling in Florida, although be it not as bad up here here as we're seeing in the northeast oh look at the great state of maine maine at one point today maine turnpike was saying it was 30 mile delay me leaving maine hey 30 miles worth of cars well that's thousands and thousands of people oh and i gotta show you this if i can i hope this camera's gonna work for us here's delaware well, it's not showing you the correct direction but you get the point here. People are on the move. Oh, there you go, Delaware, which is a major through state. Hey, they also have the Delaware beaches. That is a big deal. I mean, look at all these people traveling. And, you know, people have to mix and mingle at the rest areas. And masking is not really a thing anymore. And people are mixing and mingling with, hey, maybe someone was just at a uh, big barbecue. Maybe there was 50, 75 people. Maybe it was a oversized family reunion with well over 100 people. Maybe it was a wedding. Whatever the case may be, uh, you may have been exposed to COVID. Maybe someone is now starting to express symptoms. Oh, I got to stop and use the bathroom. Well, how many other people did you just infect at the local rest area? In fact, there is a rest area uh, at another camera just to the southwest of here. Yeah, here it is. Well, they're not showing the parking lot. If they did, the parking lot would be full. I mean, look at that. There's actually literally a line of traffic just to get gas at that rest area in Delaware. You get my point. Moving on, we'll take a look at wastewater. We'll monitor wastewater uh, like we always do every week. COVID viral activity level in Canada is moderate. Flu A is low. Flu B is low. RSV is also low at this time. Air quality is in the United States, and I need to refresh this. Uh, we have a growing concern for air quality now. Yes, I said the word growing. Of course, we've had the heat and humidity, and you can see here that's bad, but Take a look here in portions of Canada, in several different spots. You're starting to see some reds pop up. Wildfires may be coming back into play. I'm also hearing about wildfires now, again, in California. Yeah, remember, and I don't like to get political, but a certain someone says, oh, I ended that when I took off as well. Guess what? They're back again. You're going to need to address this again. Yeah, sometimes I just have to go that route because I get very annoyed with certain things. Anywho, uh, taking a look at the breathing index on this Sunday and has some problems. Now, those areas that I showed you, those traffic cameras, not terrible there. But, you know, if you're sitting in a vehicle, leave your windows up. If you're sitting in all that traffic, the emissions, the heat, you probably have your air conditioner on anyhow. But just away from those areas, and you get back into the mountainous regions and you follow that down to, say, the Gulf Coast region, some bad air qualities there, bad air quality showing up in uh, California when it comes to breathing, I should say, not air, we looked at air qualities, but bad air qualities lead to this poor breathing, and we see that showing up in California at this time. Grass pollen, it's pretty much a moderate to high at this point. We're not seeing very high show up anymore. Take a look at what's going on with um, EMS calls in Florida, and ooh, I'm not liking this. We're seeing some delayed calls. We're seeing a lot of calls. We're also seeing bed delays. Hey, we know COVID right now is doing worse in the United States in the state of Florida at the moment. In fact, we're going to look at some wastewater sites there in a few minutes. Philadelphia yesterday, 884 EMS calls. Live look at Montgomery County, not very busy. Same with uh, Chester County. There are more calls in Chester County right now than Montgomery County. Taking a look at Bucks County, Pennsylvania which we just started doing this week because they just added this dashboard recently. Only four calls there right now. All right, hospital situation in Pennsylvania is not too bad. Let's refresh this now. We'll have to see what happens during the week. In New Jersey, there are 
uh, multiple hospitals dealing with some random things at this time. Alrighty, we're going to skip over New York State. We're going to take a look at hospital visits for people who are diagnosed with COVID, emergency department visits. And in the United States, that is starting to rise. And now we're going to go state by state. Atlanta, or excuse me, Alabama at this time, not doing too bad. Alaska is up slightly. Arizona, hmm, it looks like it's dropping. Arkansas did go up a little bit. Now it's leveled off. California, believe it or not, that's dropping a little bit. We'll see if that continues. Colorado is flat. Connecticut is downward a little bit. Delaware is uh, bouncing around off the bottom. Washington, D.C. is down a little bit. Look at Florida. Yeah, that's our worst state right now. And mind you, this is this data is pre-4th of July. So I suspect we're going to see a lot of changes in the upcoming week. Georgia's going up slightly. Guam is down a little bit. Hawaii is going up a little bit. That would probably be our second worst state right now. Idaho has dropped a little bit. Illinois, not bad. Indiana is okay. Iowa is okay. Kansas up slightly. Kentucky, not too bad. Louisiana has dropped a little bit. Maine is not doing too bad. Maryland is starting to rise. Massachusetts, maybe a slight rise. Michigan, not too bad. Mississippi, up slightly. Montana is bouncing around. Nebraska is not too bad. Nevada is up slightly. New Hampshire is down. New Jersey is up slightly. New Mexico is down. New York, not too bad. North Carolina is starting to rise slightly. North Dakota is down. Ohio is not doing too bad. Still dropping there. Oregon is starting to rise faster. Pennsylvania is up slightly. Rhode Island is up ever so slightly. South Carolina is starting to rise. South Dakota is starting to rise. Tennessee, eh, I want to say at the very end of that, you're up slightly. Texas is starting to rise more. Utah is starting to rise. Uh, Vermont is not doing bad at all. Virginia is okay. Washington State is starting to rise. And West Virginia, maybe a slight rise at the end. And finally, Wisconsin is still flat. Any state I haven't mentioned is just not on here. Like Wyoming has not updated in a very long time. Epidemic status for COVID is likely growing and is growing now in multiple more states. This map is going to continue to fill in. Taking a look at what's going on with wastewater in LA, and we can see here, wastewater in LA has leveled off ever so slightly. Now taking a look at wastewater in Orange County, Florida, and take a look at this. Almost every region since middle of June has gone up in this area. Uh, yeah, Southwest, Northwest, South Orange County, Eastern Orange County, all have seen a rise since mid-June. Uh, does look like though, Southwest Orange County has dropped ever so slightly, so that is some good news. And then when we take a look at norovirus, norovirus does remain elevated at this time. All right, let's take a look at wastewater scan. First off, nationally, we are seeing that uh, COVID levels, and let's switch this to COVID. We are seeing that COVID levels are medium in the West Coast, in the South, and in the Northeast, low in the Great Lakes. Now let's just randomly go through wastewater sites. And you know what? We'll start off with Florida today. Uh, someone did ask about Miami. So I can do two wastewater sites there. I can do uh, the southern one and the northern one. And yeah, COVID is rising in that area at this time. Also seeing influenza A is listed at high for some reason. Does look like there was a bit of an increase for that. Norovirus is in the medium. And look at this. You have no detections of measles at this time. Going a little bit further to the north. And we can take a look now at what's going on in North Miami. And in North Miami, we see that COVID at this time is medium. And it actually has dropped slightly. Norovirus is also listed in the medium category at this time. And we can see elsewhere in Florida, yeah, you're seeing a lot of orange, which means levels are really high there. They're not doing well. In Atlanta, Georgia, Clayton, take a look at this. This is now listed at high. And we can see here levels are gradually starting to rise at this wastewater location. So that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on. Uh, let's take a look at Birmingham, Alabama. We will go to, how about we go over to Village Creek, shall we? Let's see, has that started rising yet? No, it has not started rising yet for COVID. Uh, hepatitis, some detections of that at this time. All right, making our way to the Northeast, then we'll go to the Midwest, then we will do the West Coast. And I wanted to show you I believe it was Montpelier, Vermont, but not for COVID. COVID there is okay. It's medium. Has gone up ever so slightly. Again, I think we're going to see a lot of changes at many of these wastewater sites 
as we get into next week. Take a look at this. Norvars is high there, and it is continuing to rise at this time. Uh, we can also take a look at Maine. Now, I showed you in Maine, there was a ton of people that went up to Maine. Part of the problem in Maine is, though they have wastewater, there's a lot of places that have summer camps, uh, like summer homes on lakes. They're called camps there. Like, you know how some places are called lake houses. In Maine, they're called camps. I have a relative that has a camp. Uh, it's actually my godparents, and I will be seeing them in just a couple weeks. And I will be seeing them at their summer camp in Maine. We'll be there for, I guess, about a week and a half. Don't worry. The um, virus updates will continue during that time. Yeah, they have internet, so uh, the virus updates will continue. And for the heck of it, here is the wastewater site closer to them. And it is in the medium category at this time. But guess what? Their wastewater would not be connected to this because, again, they are using septic tanks at this time. All right, going uh, south here, going southwest, let's make a stop here at what's going on in North Jeffersonville, Indiana. I'm seeing COVID listed high here, and, well, I don't know if that's actually high. Sometimes this is wrong, but it says upward trend in the last 21 days and medium concentration. So it is medium, and you can see here, yeah, it is definitely trendy upward. Let's go somewhere a little bit further to the north. Let's see what's going on in Warren, Michigan. And there we do find at this time that COVID is still low, not really rising just yet, just an ever so slight rise. So that is something we're going to have to continue to watch. Let's make our way a bit further out to the west. Let's take a look at what is going on in Las Vegas. And in Las Vegas, we find COVID is medium, but is going to fourth is going to Las Vegas on Fourth of July thing? I think there's definitely some people that went there for Fourth of July. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, always a show going on there. Well, heck, Kelly Clarkson was supposed to do a residency there, but that got canceled. So we can see here Las Vegas for COVID at its medium and dropping at this time. We'll have to see if that rises anymore. Let's take a look at somewhere in uh, California, Sacramento at this time is listed in the medium for COVID. And that is starting to rise. But we also see Sacramento still has community spread of measles. That is not a good thing whatsoever. All righty, let's go out to Hawaii, shall we? We saw in wastewater, Hawaii was not doing fantastic. Sand Island, Honolulu at this time. Uh, COVID in wastewater, it's rising and it's starting to pick up the pace. It is getting worse at this time. And we can also see the other wastewater say, what's that doing? Yeah, that's starting to get a little worse as well. And since we went to somewhere that was not in the lower 48, let's also go up to Alaska. And uh-oh, Anchorage, Alaska is coming up at high. Let's see how bad that looks at this time. And it says, no trend in the last 21 days and a high concentration. Yeah, okay, yeah. But overall, it did go upward. And I want to show you this. Yeah, influenza A in the summertime. Well, it's a thing up there in Alaska right now, in Anchorage, Alaska. Yeah, it is actually uh, just exploding for influenza A. And norovirus is still listed at medium at this time. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Sunday edition of the virus update. We'll have another update again tomorrow. We'll probably have a wastewater part two. CDC wastewater page was supposed to update tomorrow, or is supposed to update tomorrow. We'll have to see if that comes in. We'll get Walgreens, whatever news. I'm sure the news is going to start to pick back up now because the holiday is ending. And uh, real quick, before we go, let's pause and take a hydration break. Did we do it already? I don't know. If we did, we'll do a second one today. Why not? Very important to keep yourself hydrated. Alrighty, folks, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And of course, leave your comments down below. You can support my channel down below. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Until I see you again tomorrow. Stay safe, everyone. Have a fantastic Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching.